Hi guys. Uh, when I take people through the, uh, the functional movement screen, one of the most common things that I see is on that very first test, the, uh, the overhead squat test, and it's when we get them to squat with their feet flat on the ground, and they come down and they're getting caught somewhere around about here, and they just can't get any deeper without their heels popping up off the ground. So as soon as we put their heels up on the board and they suddenly can get that full range of mo movement a lot easier. So when we're seeing that, it's basically indicating that there is a, uh, a tightness in your ankle joint. So it's what we call is, is in the inability of to dorsiflex through the proper range of motion. Um, several things can cause that. It can be your, your, if your calves are particularly tight, that can definitely have an effect there. Uh, tight fascia through your feet um, can definitely cause that as well. And, but quite commonly, it will just be the ankle joint itself that is basically a little bit bunged up. It's just the ankle capsule um, being a little bit restricted. So what I want to show you guys today is just a couple of drills just to work on um, trying, just trying to loosen up that ankle capsule. So I mean, any, any sort of training exercise that you do that you're doing in off your feet, your ankles are your foundation. So any dysfunction or lack of movement in your ankle joint um, has the potential to have a follow on effect right up through the body. So, you know, your ankles could be the cause of your back being a little bit sore, for example. So we really want to, um, we really want to get this, this, these ankles moving properly um, to alleviate or to make, you know, to help the rest of the body operate the way it should be doing. So really, really simple, um, just two, two drills. So I've been adding these into my workouts and my warm up um, over the last couple of months and definitely, definitely noticed the difference. So first one is just put, you put your foot forward, drop down and all we're trying to do is push this knee, keeping the, keeping the heel, that front heel flat on the ground, is we're just pushing your knee forward over your toes, so as far over your toes as you can get while keeping that heel flat on the ground. So just this little pulsing, pulsing movement and just do that for 20, 30 seconds, both legs. The other one, so if you're at home, just want like a sort of a highish table or stools, perfect. Something where you can just get your foot up on there. If you're down at training, um, you know, with the, the box jump, put that up, up on, its, on its highest level. Same thing, put your foot up on that. And again, same thing, we just keep on this one, we want to use our body weight a little bit more, so get your body weight in over that leg. And again, just applying pressure, pushing that knee forward over the toes. Again, trying to keep the heel fairly flat. And just as you're pushing forward, you'll feel, you'll feel the pulling sensation just up from the back of the Achilles, back of the ankle there. And again, just do that for 20, 30 seconds. So really simple. Um, but just a really, a really good habit to get into. So, you know, if you're down at training and you use that wedge for any of the squatting activities, this is something you should be doing. You know, if you've gone through the movement screen, you will know whether you have a restriction in there. So if you've got any sort of tightness in that ankle capsule, yeah, spend, spend those two minutes before training, um, do them at home, just to try and loosen that up, make a big difference on, you know, everything else up the chain, basically. All right, get into them.